I'm Nix and I am the one that set up these containers and put the workshop together. It's about three, three and a half years ago. I was over at the zigzag and I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to have some money to buy containers and I wanted to put um, a bike workshop together and I wanted to work in the metal workshop because I like building stoves and bike trailers and making it really ground roots. really love providing tools and welder and all the things that are needed but having people coming in and having that magic and input um, is what makes it work in working on your own. Um, I'm Tilly and um, I'm quite a newcomer here um, to the space. Um, and yeah, I've, I've learned, I um, guess, under the direction of Nikki and then um, I guess other people that use the space as well then. It's a very like, beautiful way that people like, pass on knowledge to each other. For me, when I first came here, I think it's the chance to like realise that it's something that I could do, something that I'd thought about doing. I'd never had the chance to, the opportunity to. Um, so yeah, I guess that's what... Um, what Nick is provided here. How does this all work? Um, well, it started as volunteering. I just kind of asked for contributions um, if people could pay, but it was more about making it as accessible as possible for everyone. Um, so yeah, if people came to build their own stove and they wanted to take it away, they would ha have to pay for the flat plate and they'd have to pay for their own discs and they would have to contribute towards the um, gas and welding. We have a jenny that creates electricity and that needs to be paid for. So we just, you know, I just ask for money for whatever they use whenever they have the pipe, which is for the flu, they pay for that as well. Then Bleak Arts came along, my friend Sadie, who I know does fundraising, and Bleak Arts started in Cambridge by a great group of people that are into art and travelling communities. That's enabled us to have some income, basically better income. So Tilly's been able to be paid um, for working on Fridays. And it's directed mainly for people that have, um, that live in caravans and park ups, you know. Oh, so on Friday is the Skillshare workshop. Um, so people come in and they they learn skills. It's a um, or share skills. Um, yeah, so it's about passing on passing on skills and knowledge that people have. Also have it How do you make a burner? How does it work? Um, so to make a burner, normally first of all, source your materials that you're going to use. Um, so um, these ones that are made from gas canisters. First of all, it's getting the getting the um, the old valve off the top. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes you never know if it's going to go, come off. Uh, then it's filled with water to make sure there's no residue of gas, so it's safe to cut open. Uh, and then you cut the burner open. Um, oh, one of the biggest stages is cleaning all the paint off, which that seems sometimes to take the longest. I think that's a lot in, in welding. That seems to be. Most of the time is getting everything ready to weld it to stick all that together. Cut all your parts, you've got your door and your hinge, your catch, mm -hmm. your air vent, mm -hmm. um, and your hot plate for the top. You've got a baffle inside, so you've got to clean up all those parts, um, cut them, and uh, weld them together, I guess. And obviously, there's all the, the design and um, looking at bits of metal and deciding what you could do with them and how you want it all of what we, I mean apart from the plate and the pipe and I mean the nuts and bolts and stuff kind of come through whatever sources everything's been upcycled and um, and I just love the fact that everyone builds a unique stove of their own um, when I'm So why do you do it? Um, I do it because I really enjoy doing it um, and I yeah, I like doing stuff that's practical. I like it because it makes a good end product that's uh, really useful and keeps people warm. Uh, it's an essential part of survival, really, isn't it, fire? Um, yeah, so I, I really like what it produces. Um, and I, I really enjoy the process. 
I find that it's re really, um, really consumes your mind when you're working. Sometimes you're working with like dangerous tools and stuff, so you have to be really present and there, and you have to be thinking about only about the thing you're doing. And I find that really good for my mind. Um, yeah, it really helps me, and, and I don't, I don't feel anxious, and I don't feel sad. I feel when I'm making a burner, I'm just there and making a burner. That's all that's happening, and, and I love it for that. Yeah. Yeah, I love the fact that people can just walk in and say, can I come next week and do some stove building? I live locally, I would love to learn. And so I, I work very much on pattern and feeling and intuition. So it's not about being technical, it's about really engaging with how you feel connected to what you're working with. And it goes so well with um, opening up that self, uh, self esteem and feeling like it's an art. It's not just about practical things. Everything can be really arty in the way of how you work. And I, I find that really exciting.